When converting from a straight drive starting motor to a gear reduction starting motor, there are three points you should focus on to ensure a clean transition. They are design, the OE spacer, and the integrated magnetic switch or IMS relay. Let's take a look at each one. A gear reduction starter may appear different by design. For example, the Delco Remi 29MT, 35MT, 38MT, and 39MT all incorporate a noseless design and don't include a cone around the starter drive. Despite this design difference, these starters are completely interchangeable with straight drive nose style starters. Next is the OE spacer, which is actually part of the engine. The OE spacer is designed to ensure proper clearance between the starter pinion gear and the engine ring gear. If an OE spacer is currently being used, then you'll need to transfer it with the new replacement starter. If this doesn't happen, it can result in damage to the starter pinion gear and engine ring gear teeth. Additionally, you may find that as you try to remove the starter, that the OE spacer is sticking to it. This is not uncommon. That's why it's always good practice to check if the spacer is attached to the old starter nose housing before you begin. Finally, if you're unsure if the engine requires an OE spacer, or if it's damaged or lost, we recommend you contact the engine manufacturer for details. The final point is the integrated magnetic switch, or IMS relay. The IMS reduces voltage drop and controls battery current to ensure the solenoid receives the maximum available voltage in any starting condition. If the replacement gear reduction starter already has an IMS attached to the unit, then you need to leave the IMS on the new starter. You should never remove or uninstall it. Doing so could result in control circuit problems and will void your warranty. Bear in mind that the unit you're replacing may have an external magnetic switch already mounted on the vehicle's firewall. If that's the case, you have two options. One, bypass the firewall magnetic switch and connect the ignition wire directly to the starter-supplied IMS. Or two, connect the switch wire from the firewall-mounted magnetic switch that goes to the starter motor solenoid switch terminal and reconnect to the starter-mounted IMS. On the Delco Remi 29MT, 38MT, and 39MT models, it is strongly recommended that you have the IMS equipped during installation. On the 35MT models, the IMS is integrated into the solenoid, so these starters will not have the IMS attached to the motor. You can visit DelcoRemi.com and click on the Product Support tab to download instruction sheets for installation procedures and alternate switch position locations. For further diagnostics, troubleshooting, or other questions, contact the Delco Remi Technical Support Center at 1-800-372-0222. You can also visit us online at delcoremi.com.